everyone, Laura Elizabeth here with my hands. Um, I totally wanted to just touch base with you guys this week and come at you with a fun idea, hopefully. Um, number one, please excuse my mess. My desk is really messy and this is kind of a pushback. I tend to kind of work with a thousand things at once. I'm working on another junk journal right now. So just kind of have some elements going, but I wanted to come with a new obsession of mine and that is making your own sticker so kind of a diy sticker um there's some videos lately i'm going to link them in my description of just videos i really loved about making your own stickers um but i want to come with a, another idea and that is these here they're more like of a collage sticker and this sheet i kind of glued all on to make it a full sticker sheet because I really don't like to waste sticker paper so I fill these babies pretty full. So I'm going to show you some ideas of making some collage stickers and for that it's pretty simple. I'm going to start with a regular piece of printer paper. This is to put all the collages on so that when we copy it on the printer it prints out on a full sticker sheet. I also have my sticker sheet here and this is I think just an Avery label sheet but it's like a full this whole thing is a sticker so we'll print out or copy it out on this one print out copy out I don't know and then I have a whole bunch of scrap paper I have some books I have another book because I really like it to kind of um you know really be different from each other. I have some more scraps, you know, some stuff here. Just if you have some scraps, you can even use some washi tape uh, for this, but I don't have anything really major in mind. Um, we're just going to go with it. And I also do some outlining in pen. So get some marker for some rosy cheeks. So here we go. So just kind of get some scraps and we'll see what we do. So I really love collage. I just think it's really fun. So how I do it is I kind of get something in mind and I thought it'd be fun to do some cute cupcakes. And uh, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up and I joined a couple of swaps in swapbot.com and uh, have a couple of pen pals that I wanted to send some to. So I thought it'd be fun to do some cute, you know, maybe Valentine-y type stickers. So what I do is on the opposite side, I'll kind of get the image in my head. And so let's say we want to do like a cupcake. So I just want this part to be the, you know, kind of like the nifty little cupcake wrapper type thing. So I'll just kind of sketch that in on the side here and cut it on out. Now this is a pretty big sticker. So keep in mind, how I'm going to actually produce these is I'm going to tape it down or glue it down, sorry, on my regular printer copy paper. And then I'm going to put it in my printer copy or scanner thing <clears throat> and then just use the copy feature. So what I do is I always keep my originals <clears throat> and then I just make a whole bunch of copies and then I just cut it out of the sticker sheet and I have stickers. and. Honestly, I've been like obsessed with this, so you know. So here's my bottom of my cupcake, but I kind of like this pattern with it too. Just on the bottom. I don't know why. You can kind of do whatever. Use your scraps. So I'll come down here and I'll just kind of trace this. Whoops, I totally hit the camera. Sorry guys, I'm trying to like, I don't know, get a little bit better at this instead of just holding it and Doing, try to do something with one hand so come in here and the good thing is like I don't have to worry about erasing my lines because it's on the back side and we're going to glue it all down so like I said I I do like to fill up a whole sheet because you know I like to use up the sticker paper so sometimes if I don't have enough images what I'll do is uh, go ahead and write like little sayings down like you know you're awesome or have a great day hello you know anything that you want to write 
and then just write that I mean not that it's that hard to write anything but you know just use up the paper or I'll doodle <clears throat> doodle like on some of these you know I had my collage ones but then I just doodled through here and then I have stickers so totally obsessed with like kind of that handmade sticker look right now I don't know if anybody else likes it but I guess I do so I got my bottom to my cupcake so now I need icing so probably what I'll do I don't think I'm going to use this one so I'm going to make a little top that's like the actual cupcake layer so maybe what I'll do is go like this I'm going to turn on the other side so I can sketch it out and then I just come through and just give my cupcake a little top and then I'm just going to cut this out and glue it down my amazing cutting skills totally need to get like better scissors oh my gosh I can't cut right now what's wrong with me? <laughs> Ugh. and then I'll just glue it down here I got this craft glue this Elmer's craft glue and I gotta tell you I kind of just like the school glue better I don't know why it just seems to actually stick better but oh well I guess we'll use this up we'll glue this down like this Oops, I glued it too well. See, it doesn't stick very well. Oh well. So I got my little top of my cupcake. So now I'm going to get some cool <clears throat> icing layer. See here, what else I got? My scraps. kind of like this idea too. So I guess I'm not going like totally crazy with stuff. But I don't know. I, I kind of feel that's too plain. That's too purple. Let's see what else we got. Sometimes it's just picking out the right one. I think I want something. Uh, I kind of like, you know, when you have like a solid line from something and you make it curvy, it's kind of fun. We'll use this one. All right. So again, I want this to kind of cover, you know, my little cupcake top. So I'm going to put it down here and then give myself a nice little cupcake top. Got to have some awesome icing. So now as I doodle, I kind of put in my little lines, but you're not going to see that since <laughs> obviously it's on this side, you're just going to get a shape. So, so I'll show you what I do then is I do go and with my ink pen or marker or whatever you want to use, I do then draw on top of the stickers. Or not the printed stickers, I'll draw on this so that when I print them, um, you know, it's, they'll print out on it. So you're not constantly having to print out on. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this little shape. I don't know what's wrong with me today, guys. I keep trying to cut and I can't cut, so I don't know. Maybe I didn't have enough coffee. Or maybe too much coffee. I don't know. Or maybe these scissors are too big and I should just go get another pair. I'm just going to do the best we can. Okay. So now I got my top. And I think I want this more like on top, like to cover it a little bit. So I'm going to kind of give this a rounded shape. I'm just going to kind of round it out and maybe just make it a little wavy kind of to look like, you know, little poofy icing is kind of dripping down. So I'm just kind of taking off that hard edge that I have going right now. Oh. Alrighty, so I just kind of like the really collage -y look. I'm not totally sold on this icing, but we are going to go with it. 
All right, so I'm gonna glue this down. So yeah, this is a pretty big sticker, but oh well. Maybe I'll use it as a happy birthday card or something. All right. So that little corner there is bothering me. Push it down. All right, so now we got like the start of our collage for our cupcake. So I'm gonna find just a place to put this because it's not like important where you put it because I'm gonna fill this up with either doodles or collages like this. But I'm gonna glue this down. So this will be my like original sheet that I'm gonna use. So I'll always keep this sheet. And then when I wanna make more, I just make more copies. And cut them out. And yeah, I, I don't know why. I just really find this fun. And it's really relaxing for me to like cut things out. So I don't know. It's like, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm just going with it. Okay. So I have a micron pen here, a little pink pen. I'm going to give some little pink cheeks. So I really like a cute face when things. So I totally go for it. So I will outline the edges here of like kind of everything I did. So kind of going through and I like a little kind of sketchy edge. So I'll come here, kind of just give a little border. I don't know if you can see this on camera, hopefully. And then those cupcake wrappers kind of have that little, you know, fold. So I'm going to add a few of these, the, those. And then here now, you know, I kind of want that folds of the icing. So I'm going to come down, you know, wrap around here, bring in another fold. So it's kind of looks, you know, like there's super awesome fluff icing going on here. Who doesn't like that? Some of these lines I'm going to make a little bit thicker just because I want to. And this pen is going out. I've had it for a long time. It's time for new scissors and new micron pins. So I'm going to kind of come in here, make these a little bit thicker. And you don't have to do this, but I just kind of like it. I think the whole point is do what you like. And I like to add some dots. I love dots. I don't know why. I mentioned before I'm a face painter and I draw <laughs> one of the designs is cute cupcakes. I'll totally add dots like everywhere. I think it's fun. All right. So I totally want a cute little face. So I'm going to put that. I'm trying to think if I want to like put it in the middle, put it up here, put it totally down here. And now I'm really second guessing this line, but oh well. Hindsight is 2020. Okay, you know, little cutie eyes. It's kind of like a shopkin type thing, but little cutie face, little mouth here. Oops, I'm going to use my little pink pen for a little, uh, it's not showing up very well, but it's the thought that counts. And kind of color that in. You know what, I'm going to kind of go through here. We'll make this like a little outside holder or something. Kind of make it like a little dress for her. My little cute cupcake. All right, now I do have like this white gel pen and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very good at using it. So I'm really kind of nervous about trying it out here while I'm on camera and might just go everywhere, but let's see what we can do. Oh, it's working some light. Let's see if we can give a little eye dot there. Maybe a little white spots here. I don't know why I like dots so much, but I totally do. Add like a little shine to our stuff. All right. So there's our first collage cutie cupcake potential sticker. So I'm going to work on a few more here and I'll be back.
so we added a few more things to my lovely sheet. Um, I kind of feel like I have some space up here, but I'm just going to leave that for now because I want to show you guys kind of how it turns out. I don't know if they're my super favorite, but they're kind of growing on me. I will say that I made a couple of these pretty big, so I kind of made some smaller candies down here. Um, but I can use those maybe to decorate an envelope. <laughs> I don't know. They're really big lollipops and, you know, we're just going to go with it. But you just kind of get the idea. I kind of just want to show you my cat is wanting to come into frame here. Hi, Tobias, please. All right. Well, he's mostly here, so we're going to go to the next step. So my cat has followed me over to the my little printer. Just to let you know, you might see a tail kind of go into frame, but oh, then there, there it is. But he is a, uh, he just needs attention. So anyway, cat, sorry about that. So I have my little original sheet. Sorry, my cat is like knocking the camera. And I have it just on copy. If you don't have a copier, you could go to like Office Depot or whatever. This is another one. This is a total doodle sheet. I send these to like pen pals and stuff. Oh my gosh, cat. He's like knocking my cat. It is impossible to work with a cat. Anyway, so I'm just going to put it face down here. And I got my sticker sheet loaded already. And I'm just going to press OK. I'm going to try to get my cat off my desk. Tobias, come here. And OK, it's going to be color. OK, I still don't know. Uh, start copy. OK, here we go. Tobias, come here. If you follow my Instagram, uh, sometimes I have time to doodle a cartoon and you will see Tobias featured many times because he is insane. Oh my gosh, get down. Yes, get down. Okay, so here it comes. Yeah, we're just going to print this out, hopefully. And then I just store all of my originals like in my top part here where i originally copy so like this will go back in there this will go back in there kind of keeps everything flat and i kind of know where they all are because ah, i have a cat that likes to sit on stuff like nothing is sacred to him so these will go back in uh to my nifty little and this got wet already so there went that one <laughs> That's why I keep them there, but oh well. I just have to make another. Oop, and we're almost done. It's exciting. Oh my gosh. Cat now knocked off the thing. All right. So, and here we go. So now I have a whole sticker sheet of our wonderful little things. All right. Let's cut some of these up. Alright, so I got all my little collage stickers cut out here. Oops, so here's my little cupcake. And some of these did get pretty big, like I said. Like, usually I make them a little bit smaller so I can kind of stick them in like a little, uh, you know, a little gift thingy. But, you know, they're cute. And they can decorate the friend of envelopes, go inside some pen pal letters. You know, if you want to, I don't know, add them to your planner. Like today, I'm going to eat a lot of candy because that's a good day. And a little cookie. And just some words and all that kind of good stuff. So I I don't know why. I just like to write words because I like the sticker look then. Like when you, you know, put it down with everything else. If you make ATCs, I, I don't know. I use them on ATCs too. I think they're fun. Um, you know, just to kind of create that sticker look. So anyway, I'm going to try to scan in this sticker sheet because I use papers that, um, you know, there's copyright laws and stuff like that. So I'm going to give these away if you want. Uh, you can download it and print them out yourself on your own little sticker sheet and use them for yourself. Send them to people. Um, do whatever you want with them. But I hope that this helped. And I don't know, hope that you learned something. My dog is now playing with her toys, so we're here squeaky toys the rest of the time. But just want to thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. As always, I'd love to collab. 
um, join our communities. Um, definitely open to pen pals or swaps or anything like that. But thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it and have a super awesome day.